some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere out in Florida where an American state national sovtard tries to pull a fast one on the Florida Highway Patrol, but it really doesn't work out for him and he gets a couple tickets for his trouble. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Reserve all rights delegated by God, protected by the Constitution. Did you swear not to protect and serve the Constitution, sir? Okay. I'm not here to answer any questions for you, okay? The reason being I stopped you on Trooper AJ with Florida Hive Troll because that tag, okay? That tag I understand. Tag or anything doesn't seem to be an official tag. Is that a real tag? I don't it's know. actually a real tag. Okay. From uh, yeah, no. If it's one of those sovereign citizen uh, private plates? No, that's not an official tag, dude. It's uh, not legitimate, and uh, I'm sure you have been told this plenty of times by other officers, yet you refuse to listen. And I'm sure it's cost you plenty of money and cost you plenty of headaches at that, too. I mean, but of course, if you're going to play stupid, you might as well uh, invest in uh, headache medication. Which state? Well, it's actually from the Nationals. You ever heard of the Assembly? No, that's not out. That's, that's okay. That doesn't, Hold on. I have documents. Okay, I do. Okay. Can I see your okay, Well, I'd still like to reserve all rights. Okay. Delegated by God, protected by the Constitution, recognized in the UCC 1-308 without prejudice. I'm reserving all rights. Dude, uh, I hate to break it to you, but that UCC code that you just quoted is more of a legal obligation for... Uh, uh, well, uh, that, let's just say that you're in a doctor's office and there's a uh, potential uh, surgery that you have to have that uh, might be, uh, well, lethal to you if it's done wrong. It's basically uh, referencing a legal type of document that well, absolves the doctors of any liability issues should something go wrong. But of course, you're just too damn stupid to figure that out. Also, any actions commenced against me may be in violation of USC 18241, which is conspiracy to go against my rights, even intimidation, coercion, all those things, and my constitutional rights under color of law. Hey, moron. Color of law is civil rights. It has really nothing to do with traffic laws, so you're barking up the wrong tree, moron. As well as also 242 could be deprivation of rights under color of law. Please note that you have been informed. Um, I'm doing everything under duress. I, you know, I have documents to prove that I'm a national, one of the people of the several states. This is a private automobile operating in a non commercial capacity. I'm not operating in a for hire capacity, and uh, I, I am not engaging in any commercial use. So I'm not really technically driving because I'm not operating in a for hire capacity. Sorry, dude, but Florida has. Uh all states recognize that there is a difference between commercial and non-commercial driving, and they have driver's license classifications to show that. So uh, what you're spewing out is a load of, well, just grade A bullshit. Now, I do have documents that prove that I can travel, okay? I have them right here. Um, under Corpus Juris Secundrums. And I have my documents as well as my, I have my ID to prove that I'm a Maine State National. So, this is a part of the jurisdiction. The, the laws that are on the back of that plate are right here. Okay. Now, I know you are so probably, these are the case law too for the right to travel. Okay. Here's two, also. Here's what I need from you is a driver's license. Do you have a driver's license or ID? Um, if I hand you a driver's license, I'm technically not driving, but I do have, if I do it, it's under duress. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass! Such a dumbass! You're an ass! But I'm not operating at a for hire capacity, so please note that you've been informed. I do have a legal, valid driver's license. Thank you. Now, this vehicle was just bought. Where we're going is to the insurance company to go put insurance on it so we can register it. Okay. So the reason why that plate's on there is so that there is no non plates at all. You understand? But that is a private, if you read that plate right here. That hold plate's on. not issued to you by state. It's not issued to you by government. Um, state, right? I'm so not, you, I'm actually a living man. Hold on. Sir, I think you, you yes. the you're not understanding, sir. 
and that's okay. And I'm not trying to insult your intelligence, but yeah, appreciate it. right here, if you look at all these pertinent documents right here, here's me going to get my passport. Um, here's my naturalization right here out of the state of Maine. This is my identification, sir. I got so, you. I already got you. ID. But that's not really me anymore because I'm no longer a part of the system. And you need to see that I'm actually a living man. That's exactly what I am recorded on the land and soil. I have a notarized copy of a letter of reciprocity. Here you go. Well, we can all see that you're a living man, but not a very bright one. If you're considering yourself a national and you're considering yourself not of the United States, then maybe you should be deported to another country that would uh, readily accept you for, uh, well, whatever you are. But I don't think you'll find a country that would be willing to take you in. So, well, you're stuck with us then, or we're stuck with you. Either way, it's not good for anybody. I don't need that, sir. I got your job, guys. That's all I need, okay? But technically, I'm not. I'm just letting you know I'm doing this under direct. You I'm technically not driving. I haven't broken any laws, um, but I do respect your job, and I'm not trying to insult you in any way. But I am reserving all rights, sir, and uh, God bless you. I understand you have your beliefs, okay, and that is. But we're entitled to that, Absolutely. especially under the common law, and I will reserve under the common law, which is UCC 1-103.6, which brings the. Do you happen to have insurance? So you say you don't have car insurance. We're going to get insurance right now. Because she just bought the vehicle. That's what we're going to do. Well, it's actually her vehicle. 15. What's that? It was purchased on the 15th. I said. was yep. sick. She's been sick. She's I, an elderly you lady. You just buy the car. You said you literally uh, just buy the car. and you. Okay, I apologize. I should be a little bit more articulated. I apologize. Okay. Yep, back. no problem. Many, many minutes later. All right, sir. Yeah. So I was able to run the VIN number of the car. I just had to verify, obviously, it wasn't stolen or anything like that. Okay. Um, unfortunately, the vehicle is not registered even by its previous owner, okay? So it's never been, re or recently it hasn't been registered, does not have a plate assigned to it. Right. Okay. With that being said, you're going to get charged for driving without the tag on that vehicle. How come? You're going to get, because, again, you, they, this vehicle is not registered with the state, okay? That's what we're going to do. we got to get insurance first okay. and then register the vehicle. So there should be a grace period. And under your own discretion, I, I'm not breaking any or violated any kind of laws. Again, you know, um, you know, this is private property. And I understand that it's her vehicle to go register into the state. I'm just traveling to go to the insurance place, John Beck, which is on Atlantic Boulevard. Okay. I guess I'm saying too much because you don't really care. It's not that I don't care. It's that. We yeah, but I, I don't have any cash. I'm a law enforcement officer. Yeah. But these the are statutes and anything that's unconstitutional. And I'm working with you as much as I can. Here. Hey, don't make me pull out Black's Law Dictionary again to use against you, like you try to do all the time. I know you're going to say that uh, statutes aren't laws or something to that effect, when, uh, well, the very book that you pride yourself on being able to read says otherwise. But I understand that you're driving. But this is extortion insured. because there is no corpus delecti. Okay. There's not a body. I didn't do anything wrong. Uninsured vehicle. Yeah, okay. but that's not actually okay. breaking the law. Okay. And in awesome. fact, we're going that's to get insurance. To take to the judge and talk to him about that. Okay. We're going to get insurance okay. right now. Just do me a favor. Sit tight till I, till I finish the paperwork. I'll get you the paperwork. Okay. Just sit tight. I'm not going to tell you. I think you just need anything. to make money. Listen, I'm not going to tell your vehicle or anything. But okay. Understand that if you drive down the road and the next officer stops you, they might take your vehicle. They might impound your vehicle at that point because it is unregistered and uninsured. But that's what we're going to do is insure it. Okay. Well, that's not how it works. You got to take care of that before you get on the. How come you can't? Uh, hold on. I have a question, please. I'm going to roll down the window a little bit. I don't understand why at your own discretion, knowing that you are also to protect my rights, which even Congress recognizes the right to travel. There's actually women that need to leave one state to go get abortion to another. So you are free to travel, walk out. That's what I'm doing. Walk by foot, okay? But this is oh, also an automobile. Let you talk earlier for quite a while, so let me finish. Well, actually, you're... Board, okay? All right. Uh, when you get behind the vehicle, okay, this vehicle is not going anywhere unless you put input and steer it. Complete brake, operating brakes, operating the gas, operating all those buttons and things in the car to make the vehicle move. 
at that point you are driving a vehicle okay you're free to travel on foot driving you to, bike however you want to but when you get behind the wheel and you operate in a motor vehicle you are driving okay? if you check now, you out can chicago try to change that definition however you want to but you it's are not driving it's not vehicle. about even usc 30. The vehicle doesn't move on its own does it I listen. There is a difference between it locomotion. It's it says it right here. So listen, just a thought. I will get you some paperwork, and I'm gonna advise you not to drive. Figure out a different way to get out of here and go home. Because if you get back on the road, you can get towed. Okay, so just a thought for me. I'll get the paperwork. Five minutes later. How's it going? Thanks. All right, here's the paperwork you provided me earlier in regards to when you purchased the vehicle. Okay. Hey, can I get your name and badge number though, just yeah, for the absolutely. record? Okay, right down here on the bottom is boat. My name and my badge number. Okay, and I'm going Well, to I want you to pronounce it. I just oh, want. Oh, absolutely. My name oh. is Trooper Aliagish. Aliagish. Okay. My badge number is four two one three. Thank you. Okay. All right. Yep. I'm going to give you two tickets today. None of them are criminal. Okay, they're regular traffic tickets. One is for not having proof of insurance with you. Okay, you have 30 days. If you need more time, you can call this number. The fine is 116. However, if you can prove to the court that you have for insurance. Follow option number two or three, one of those will apply to you. You should be able to get this dismissed for a small admin fee. Otherwise, the option number five is you can contest this ticket in court. There's your copy for that. Okay. The second is a copy for failing to present a registration for the vehicle. You have 30 days. If you need more time, you can call this number. You can simply pay the citation or you can go to court. Okay. Okay. Uh, you will probably have to present to the court. So just license. For the vehicle. That's it? I'm sorry? So you're basically just giving me the tickets for not having insurance and registration? Correct. Your Thank you. Your license is valid. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Because good, yeah. Because really, that's what we're going to do, a Trooper. Right. So if we, can we please be on our way and go do that? Because it's an so accomplishment so that I can go to the court and yeah. then get it thrown out. Okay, can you I, do me a favor? Cause I like, would advise you not to drive this vehicle, but I'm just... Okay. The next officer can... I'm, I'm, can I say something? I'm from Maine, and in Maine, right? Yeah, I really doubt they would put up with your bullshit uh, in Maine as well. I'm sure you've got more than your fair share of... Uh, well, fines, tickets, and court dates as a result of your uh, stupidity over there. But hey, I mean, if you want to play that stupid game, then you're going to win stupid prizes anyway. Uh, it's your life, dude. But really, if you're going to play that game, stay off the damn roads. Oh, boy. Uh, these, some of these guys are really stupid. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?